There's that. Okay, let's try your integrated voice module again. Can you say something, Mother Lode? What would you like me to say, Doctor? Great. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Ah, <sighs> good gracious. She's full of dad jokes. All right, I'll add full conversational protocols to the list. Yeah. Hey! Ah, you're back. Yeah. I've been busy working on the Motherlode's voice interface. Have those parts for me yet? Yep. Here you go. Lovely. I had a chance to crack her open while you were gone. Not... It's not good news, I'm afraid. Uh, let me guess. You have some more things? That's right. If this frustrates you, just think how I feel. You're the one with the grand plan. I was just minding my own business, being chased by a giant robotic mineral vacuum. Hmm. Alright, well, what's the problem? Well, it shouldn't take long at all to get the new guidance interface set up. However, while I was in there setting up the vocal system, I saw a lot of damage. I think she's going to need some new parts just to be safe. Okay. Well, her data processing is extremely slow. Maybe it's not actually broken, but it certainly doesn't work. She'll need a better interpolator. She also needs a new sensor module, an altimeter for sure. Something's corroded the contacts pretty badly on both of those. Oh, awesome. Uh, where can I find them? Salvaging. Eyebots are basically just flying sensor modules. And the altimeter could be salvaged from that ridiculous plane father hung upstairs. I'm not sure about finding an interpolator. But I saw a robot that had a human brain attached to it near Robco. I would bet that unethical monstrosity has some serious interpolation needs. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I will... I'll them. be here working on her conversational skills, if you need anything else. Okay. Works for me. Ah, another part done. Get the altimeter chip. Oh, should be easy. That was nice for crunch on ice. It's good. Alright. Ah, it's raining outside. Nice. Shows. Ooh. That's a cool little ship. Thank you. Nope. Nope, you can suck my alert level. Oh, shit. Actually, wait. Normally, there's an eyebot here somewhere, right? Do not attempt to flee. You will be identified and sanctioned. Nah, that's... That's nothing else. Alright. Of course, it's near where I am. Lovely. I hate when it's like hot out because it like really makes me tired for some reason. Oh, let me turn on the fan. There we go. Yeah. Now we get some Thank you, Comrade Collectron Butt. 
frag grenades and blood pack. Nice. Thank you. One cap. Just one cap. Time to go hunt for a robo brain. Nothing I can see right now. Pew. Oh, buddy, where are you? Oh, hey, I bought. Convenience. Son of a. Oh, wait, here we go. Thank you. Those are dead people. Did they move? Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Something blew up. Not fucking sure what. Alright, so we're playing avoid all the big guys so I can kill. No, I'm not. Not yet. Another glorious day in the U.S. Army. Alright, where are you at? Oh, hello. Guys to die. Oh. Uh. Am I out of actual grenades? No, I got a cryo grenade. We're good. Relax there. All right. The back to Penelope. Good. 
I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> right, down we go. Take those parts if you don't mind. Yeah. Have fun. What's next? Next? No. She'll be ready once I finish putting those parts in. Near as I can get her on short notice anyway. Yeah, that works. So I'll see you in foundation? Mm-hmm. I'll head there presently. Just need to grab a thing or two before I leave. Go over the debug stack from the part install too. So don't worry about checking back in right away. I'm fairly hopeful she won't have exploded. <laughs> Reasonably sure she won't. I don't know. Well, I'll make sure to tell them they're coming so they don't shoot. Please. I'll wear a gas mask and head straight to whomever's in charge. Let them know that you're to blame for my presence. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you later. Ta. I'm sure Motherload's going to have some issues for me to polish before your mission. But nothing I can't manage. Yeah, I get you, I get you. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going through this because of this one. All right. Okay. Actually, wait. It's better to just teleport there. Hold on. Alright. I always hate when you have just like this, you know. I don't even know. You always get the song stuck in your head. Oh, vile equipment. More vile equipment! Yay! Forgot about that. Alright. So, excuse me. What's happening? Not much, bitch. Anyway, we're just gonna go. You know. Maybe Ward has more drawing paper I can have. Hmm. Ask him. If you're looking to trade, check out Sunny's. Fuck well. What the heck is a John anyway? I just don't get it. A John. Like jaundice? Alright. Cool. <clears throat> Let me take a picture of y'all. The cheese. Anyway, you've secured our way down to the vault pretty handily, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe your luck in finding Dr. Hornbright. 
Oh, I need to be done. Wait, is she here already? She's getting some equipment brought down, I think. Better run, unless you want to find yourself carrying consoles around. Oh, Thanks. But before you get going, though, let's talk business. All right. All right. I've been working on the next problem we need to solve for busting into Vault 79. That doozy of a laser grid. Okay. I figure we got some experienced scavengers in Foundation already. Folks who know a thing or two about busting bunkers. Small ones, anyway. Yeah. Thing is, before I even start asking around, our youngest scavenger pops up to tell me she's got it handled. Handled? Before I even told her the problem. Huh. Oh, well, what are you talking about exactly? Oh, right. Sorry. I've been focusing on the problem too long. Tunnel vision. Let's see. Basically, the problem is that there's really serious laser grids. The kind you can't just cut the power to disable. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. If they lose power for even a fraction of a second, they'll lock the whole thing down for hours. Days, maybe. Uh -huh. What thinks she can do it? Honestly, maybe she's tougher than she seems. She's been with us for a while, so I can vouch for her loyalty at least. She said she has a way to beat the grid, so I'm inclined to believe her. Anyway, her name is Jen. Go talk to her. And I'll get back to work on figuring out a plan for these military-grade turrets. All right. That shouldn't be too bad. And of course, I'm over and come back. Ugh. I hate being over and come back, dude. The fuck did they give me this time? You found a living legend. Amazing. Ah, oh, boy. Ooh, plant. I'll take that. Why not? I like plants. Plants are nice. I never had a prime automatic assault rifle receiver. Jesus. That's awkward. Well, might as well talk to uh, him. Who knows? We'll see. Did you Okay. Can I trade? Yeah, I just want to trade with you. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, why am I What? <laughs> right. This away. Put this away. Cause I don't really again, I don't really care for those as much. Shame that these are gonna die out like really soon. If only you could trade them, but you can't. Actually, wait, I think you could. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! I have Go see Sunny if you're looking to trade. Yeah! 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 No, it is. All right. Nope. 
Where is these newcomers make me nervous? Actually, no. We're not gonna we're not gonna bother with that. We're not gonna do uh, daily missions until after we get all of this done. Maybe Ward has more drawing paper. Civilization if you built on foundation. Oh no, that's the uh... Yo, how you doing? Wait, she's downstairs? Oh, come on. So I've been looking up here for no reason. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Jen. <sighs> All right. Hola, hello. I take it you talked to Paige. Yep. Said you found out about the job and wanted to help, hmm? I did and I do, yep. Yeah? But there's something we need to take care of first. Ugh. It'll be worth it. Alright, what can I help you with? So, okay. Hilariously, I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. Untraceable. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Which would help out with all 79, right? Yeah. Well, how, how, yeah, like, how would that help with the vault up? We could just disable the entire thing. Government facilities usually have a lot of security redundancies. There's almost no way to cut the lines fast enough to get past their laser grids. So what if security just can't even see that you're there? That's what this tech does, and I know how to operate it. <laughs> So you know how about the you know. Would you believe me if I told you I learned about it from a spy? Uh why do you know a spy? I didn't have much choice in the matter, I assure you. Can we hold any further questions until I get to the point? Sure. <laughs> okay, but if you screw me over, you're gonna be really pissed. Uh obviously. I get that. Just saying. Just saying. Hold on, wait. What is my intelligence right now? It's eight. All right, let's uh, let's uh, buy. Hmm. Let's go to this. Why not? Might as well. Sure. I'm down. All right. Now, can I actually, uh, pop two to get, uh, because I do want to see what would happen. Do I have things? Like, I could just pop, again, I could pop in Mentats, but it's like, that's two. Is there anything else that gives me, uh, intelligence? Well, let me see if I can sort. No, I can't. Can't sort the way that I'd hook for. Now, what if I had bare mint hats as well? Oh, fuck! Well, that answers that question. I take it you talked to Paige. Yes. I did. Yeah. So, okay. It's a suit that hides. Okay, well, nothing's completely untraceable. Yes, exactly. This tech allowed for other tech from the same origin to see it and report back. If the wearer wasn't where they were supposed to be... Bang! Right? Yeah, so we just have to get that other tech, which is easy to find by comparison, and check its logs. Which means that we need to go out and grab one of those jumpy little liberator bots. Yeah, that untraceable spy tech? It's Chinese. Of course. Wait. Why? Yeah, why liberators? Liberators like to gossip, speaking in lay terms. They ping each other whenever they see something interesting. It's actually kind of a design flaw. Ah, that's racist, too. No, only if you see ping as a person. Well, you know, I mean, in this case, it's just like, you know, communication. But ping, <laughs> you know. All right. Yeah. I'll see if we have anyone around here who can help out with the next part. 
Let's see. Uh, you should ask Dr. Penelope Hornwright for help. I feel like I recognize that name. Is she good with robots? I can do electrical stuff, but hacking and whatnot is beyond me. Uh-huh. She's good with... Yeah, you probably recognize her last name. Oh, of course. We were planning to pick apart one of those air purifiers to see if we could get them going again. I'll have to ask her about that, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I got a liberty. Out there. Well, the good thing is, is that I know uh, where we I can consider this place a fresh start. Easily they get, yeah. <laughs> they knew exactly where I was going. <sighs> they knew. Hey, freaking new. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, right. There you go. Hey, 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 that's funny. Okay, fuck you too, because you're a bitch. Now back to the foundation. I have returned. She she she. All right. And off we go. Hey. I see you found a way to get into the vault. Yep. Man, yeah, we're gonna try and figure out how to actually do it. Cause I'm smart. Hold on. Why is he red? Hi, WD Tixer. All oh, red and shit. Bro, you good? Who knows, man? Who knows? Those raiders are just out there waiting for a chance. It's possible. Sandwiches, subs, grinders, and hoagies are the same thing at Sunny. Hoagies. They are. Well, that's uh, for a debate for a different year. Maybe one that doesn't have us, you know, possibly dying to either a pandemic, a possible nuclear war, or police officers. <laughs> 